Hi, welcome. I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Today's class is going to be full body workout, a beginner level Pilates class. When you're ready, come and join me. So we're going to start at the front of the mat. So facing the mat here, start standing upright, have your feet hip width distance apart, approximately about a fist between your heels and your toes. So find your longer spined position here, take an in breath. As we exhale, nod the head down and start articulating the spine down. Now I'd like you to slightly soften the knees and then once you pass the lower spine, tip the pelvis forward and take your body down to wherever you feel comfortable. Inhale at the bottom. As we exhale, lift the abdominal wall and start restacking the spinal column upright again. Nice and tall, chest nice and open. Let's do it one more time. Breathe out and nod the head down and articulating down vertebrae by vertebrae and then tip the pelvis forward and bring your body a little closer to the floor. And an in breath, exhale, let's roll it up again, stacking up the spine. Finding the longest possible spinal position here. Now the next one, we're gonna go halfway. As we breathe out, again, roll it down, just halfway. Bend the knees, place your hands on your thigh. Now, so I want you to bring the pelvis back a little bit. Now go ahead and extend the spine here. So you're kind of doing a little squat here and your back is nice and long, your neck is long and as you exhale, using abdominal wall, I want you to round the back, curling in, looking to your belly. And an inhale, lengthening the spine. And an exhale, rounding the back. And an inhale, lengthening out. Exhale. Cool. In breath. Let's do two more here. It's a good way to mobilizing to mobilize the spine at the start of the class. And lengthening the spine. And an exhale. We round and stay. Can we now roll the spine down towards the floor a little bit more? Here, bend the knees. Go into a deep fall in the hip. Now transfer your hands behind you. Transfer your pelvis down onto the floor and take your feet forward in front of you. Hands underneath the thigh. Now I'd like you to perch on your sitting bone and then find that long spinal position here. Moving on as we breathe out, we pull the belly in. I'd like you to again flex the spine forward. So we're creating a C curve position here in the spinal column. And then as we inhale, we come upright. Exhale, we round the back. In breath, we lengthen the spine. Two more. Exhale, we round the back. And inhale, we lengthen the spine. One more. Exhale, we round. And an in breath. We lift, and the next one, as exhale, we round. Now, can we roll the spine back? So I like you to bring the sacrum down to the floor, really scoop deep into your abdominal muscle, and then take your body down to the floor. You can drag the leg with you, and then take your arms down by the side, release the head down. Right, I'm just gonna scoop down a little bit. Now, what we're looking here, your feet are still hip width distance apart, they're parallel chest nice and open, your pelvis is in comfortable position, in a neutral pelvis position, and the neck is floating, the head is heavy. As we breathe out, let's take you, let's take ourselves to a pelvic curl. We scoop the belly in, we imprint the lower back down to the floor, so we rock the pelvis up, then we press the feet as we articulate the rest of the spine off the floor into a bridging position. Now, don't be afraid to press your hands down, your arms down, and lift the pelvis up a little bit more here. Inhale, gaze is to the ceiling. Exhale, we roll the spine down, articulating. One vertebrae at a time. And coming back to the neutral position. Let's take it again, breathe out. 
and using abdominal wall, imprint the lower back down, press the feet, use your hamstring to lift the pelvis up, use abdominal to stabilize the pelvis, make sure the pelvis is even, you're not dropping one side lower than the other, have a look, have a little sneak peek in front of you, and then exhale, roll it down, and take it all the way back to starting position, release the pelvis, let's take it two more times, we breathe out, Using the abdominal, imprint the lower back down. Use the hamstring to lift the pelvis up, articulate the spine. Use the abdominal, stabilize the pelvis. You know what? Press the big toes down so your inner thighs are working, so your knees are not splitting out to the side. And exhale, roll down. Take it all the way back. And then last one, in breath. Exhale, roll up. Take it up to the bridge. Arms are active, legs are active, chest is opened, neck is long, gaze is to the ceiling, in breath. Exhale, roll it down, 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 and back to your neutral position. Well done. Now, let's take your left leg up to tabletop. As we breathe out, stabilizing the pelvis, bring it up to tabletop. Knee over your hip, shin bones parallel to the ground, and we'll take it down. And then we'll take it up. Inhale, take it down. And take it up. So I like you to lift the leg using the abdominal muscle. And I like you to stabilize your pelvis as the leg goes down and up. One more. And up. Stay. Left hand, left palm to the thigh, thigh to the palm. I like you to press your leg up your thigh up and the hand down at the same time. So we breathe out, we press down and push up, drawing the oblique on the left, staying for three, two, one, release. Let's do one more time. Breathe out, press, engaging or activating the oblique on the left, three, two, one, and release. Take the foot down. Onto the right leg, we breathe out, we lift, inhale, Movement from the hip joint in. The knee joint is constant, so it doesn't go up and down like so. And exhale. And then we go down. And and then we go down. And one more. Stay. Right palm to the right thigh, pressing against each other as we breathe out, activating the right oblique. Stay for three, two, one. One, and release. Again, exhale, press. Three, two, one, and release. Hold the leg up, arms down. Let's go to leg changes. So as we breathe out, left leg comes up, right leg goes down. And we switch. And we switch. So I like you to keep the position of the pelvis constant here. So we're not arching as we take the leg down and then compressing down as we take the leg up. Yeah, so the movement comes from the hip joint. And the knee joint is also nice and quiet. And we go two. Last one. Both legs up to tabletop. This time, both hands on your thigh. We're going to Activate the whole abdominal muscle here. So press down and push up with the thigh at the same time. We breathe out, pressing three, two, one, and release. And again, exhale, press down, watch how your shoulders don't come up. Press the shoulders down to your abdominal wall. Press three, two, one, and release. Let's do one more time. Breathe out, keep the neck long, three, two, one, and release. Legs together, arms side to the T position. Now, staying knee over your hip joint, let's move on to our spine, to a supine. To your right, we rotate from the waist. Exhale, back to the middle. To the left, exhale, and to the right, exhale, so the legs go together as one unit. We're rotating or twisting from the waistline and the opposite shoulders is anchored down to the floor. Your arms are active, pressing to the ground. 
and we inhale so we're activating our oblique muscles here to twist and last one inhale exhale come back lower one foot down second leg down have your feet hip width distance apart slide your hands underneath your head interlacing your fingers elbows are off the floor let's go to a chest lift here so we breathe out use the abdominal muscle to lengthen the spine down to the floor and we lift the chest up your gaze is forward to your thigh we inhale exhale and exhale we lift in breath and exhale again exhale so i want you to think about drawing these abs down to the floor as we lift the chest up using the upper abdominal in breath can we take yourself a little higher exhale come on down again exhale rest your head into your hands in breath and exhale come on down last one please exhale we love inhale can we lift up a little higher and an exhale come on down let's add some rotation into that so we exhale we come up take your hands forward palms together like a prayer let's go to your right side if you rotate from the waist in breath over to the left inhale exhale 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 gaze to your hand let's do one more each side last one come back to center and then take your hands apart bring it by the side of your thigh and then let's come down take your arms overhead right i would like you to bring the legs together but i like you to um, lengthen the knees a little bit so they're not quite straight here so slightly bent so we're going to do a modified roll up here we inhale we take the arms up we lift the chest up look forward your arms are going to be at the side of your thigh now as you exhale sink the belly in pull yourself up come up into that round back position now maybe you can stretch your legs a little bit further in breath exhale rock the pelvis back send your pelvis to the floor then take your arms overhead inhale we lift if that's too challenging you can grab the back of your thigh help yourself up and then let your arms go as your body go over your thighs and exhale roll back get the sacrum down on the floor lower spine down on the floor chest is open back to a chest lift position here then take your arms overhead and again inhale lift exhale up inhale hold exhale roll back sacrum on the floor lower spine on the floor and take your arms out of the floor now if that's okay with you you can stretch your legs long otherwise you just keep the legs bent inhale exhale up over your legs in breath exhale roll it back get the sacrum down get the lower spine down and take your arms overhead let's do one more time inhale exhale we come up 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 into c curve now here let's lift our spine up all right dorsi flex your feet let's move on to our spine stretch so your spine is long so most importantly is to get a nice long strong spine right and then stretch your legs to a maximum but keep and maintain that spine elongation if you can only stretch your legs to this position and hold your back just keep your legs bent but if you can join me and have your legs straight great right so do modify the position 
to your best possible way. Now, dorsiflex your feet, your feet are slightly wider than your pelvis. We breathe out, we articulate the spine down towards the floor and forward, then we tip the pelvis forward at the end, in breath. Exhale, roll it up, and tall. Again, breathe out, roll down, hinge forward, in breath. Exhale, roll up. Again, exhale, roll down, hinge forward at the end, in breath. Exhale, roll up. One more time, exhale, roll down, in breath, and then exhale, roll it up. Take your arms up to your ears, or by your ears, lift the spine tall, and let's do some shoulder flexion. We take the arms back, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, lengthen up tall, arms by the side. All right, cross the leg in front of you and transfer yourself to a quadruped position, which is your heel of the palm and your shoulder in one alignment, vertical alignment, and your knee to the center of your hip. Okay, let's go into our abdominal engagement here in a quadruped position as we inhale. Lengthen the spine. As we exhale, pull the belly muscle into the spine while maintaining the length of the spine. Keeping your spine in neutral position. And then let it go. In, exhale, pick it up. Lift the abdominal wall, keeping the spine long. And let it go. Again, exhale, lift. So we're not really flexing or rounding the back, we're just really drawing the abdominal muscle in towards the spine. And release, two more. Exhale, lift the belly. And release, last one. Exhale, lift the belly. And hold that, stabilize everything else, slide the right leg long, Keep the belly muscle in and up, and then we take the leg up and then down. So I like you to really maintain the position or the, the um, balance, the position of the pelvis, the stability, that's the word I'm looking for, stability of the pelvis as we lift the leg. So you possibly may only go about 20% into hip extension here. And exhale. So I don't want you to lose that lower spine and lift the leg up like so. I want you to maintain the spine, maintain the pelvis, then lift the leg. I don't know how many we've done now, so let's do three more. Exhale. And two more. Last one. And take the leg in. All right. Let's pick up the belly in again. In and up. Slide the left leg and maintain the pelvis, lift, and lift, and lift, and up, so your arms are staying strong, your collarbone is still open, push the floor away with your hand, and your neck is long, three more left, two more, one more, and bring it in. Tuck the toes under. We breathe out, pulling the belly in and up, and float the knees off, okay? So you're really maintaining that beautiful long spine. Push the floor away with the hands. Then we're gonna modify front support. Stretch your right leg out, and come back in. Left leg, and come back. Right leg, and come back. So. You know, you want to create like a table-like position with your spine. And out. And stretch your leg out. Left leg. Let's do one more set. Right leg. Last one, left leg. Come back in and lower the knee down. Well done. Transfer yourself to the floor. 
into a diamond press arm position. So we have the right hand or right palm above the left and place your hands stacked up underneath your forehead, elbows wide, legs are long. Just make sure they're even. Okay, and then just lower the chest down. Your head is floating over your hands. We breathe out energy out through the legs to your toes and then pick up the belly, glide the shoulder blades down and start articulating the spinal column upward into extension. So use that mid back and upper back muscle to lift the spine. And we come down. And inhale, we'll lift. So glide the shoulder blade and lift the spine. Exhale, come down. And inhale, lift. Reach up. Exhale. Last one. I like you to keep that neck long here so we don't want to break the neck alignment as we come up. Your gaze is still down on the floor but a little bit further away. Okay, and come down. Now you have your right hand above the left hand here. Now I want you to keep your right hand to your forehead as you lift the back up into extension and then take the left leg up. So for a modified swimming and we lower them down. And then we lift up, inhale. Exhale, lift up, inhale. Exhale, two more, lift up. Exhale. Last one, lift up, exhale, switch your hand, and we lift up, exhale. So I got my left hand on my forehead and my right leg up off the floor. And an in breath, exhale, and in breath. So I'm wanting to think about more length, so lengthening out, reaching out, rather than height. The height will just come as you keep reaching the spine and the body away. One more time, inhale, lengthening out, and come back down, well done. Let's bring your elbows, arms on the side of your body, push the floor with the forearm, pull the belly in, and I sit back for a moment for the rest position, and that moment's finished. Okay, let's go facing on the side. I want your forearm to be down on the floor. Take the top leg in front of the bottom leg. So we're going to go into a modified side bend here. So the top arm is long. Now do me a favor. I want you to lift the underneath side and keeping the collarbone and the chest open. And now as you breathe out, press the feet, lift up, and then take your arms over as you exhale. Look down, inhale, and come on down. And then lift up, and exhale and back up and down two more in breath and exhale and then lift and down last one in breath and exhale and lift and down bend the knee a quick side stretch over released and other side Okay, so top leg over the bottom, forearm down on the floor, elbow and the shoulder in one vertical alignment, chest is open, lift and get your underneath side here. Okay, so we don't want to sway down. Now as you breathe that again, press the feet, lift up and exhale. In breath and down. And again, left. Exhale. And in and down, and again, left, and exhale, left, come down, and left, and exhale, left, come on down, tuck the feet in, and lift the underneath arm, reach it up, and over, come up, all right, Back to our quadruped and finish up with a cat stretch. So hands, shoulders stacked up, knees, hips stacked up, starting with a long neutral curve. And exhale, we round. And into a neutral spine and arch the upper back. 
and exhale, we round. And pass neutral curve and upper back extension. And exhale. In. And watch upper back extension. I don't want you to sway down. So hold the lower spine and take your upper spine, middle spine up into extension. And one more. And to neutral curve. And upper back arch. Release. Send the pelvis back. Send the arms forward for a well-deserved rest position. Just one set of breath. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale as we roll the spine up. Coming up into a seated position here. All right. Thank you for joining me. Well done. And I, will, I wish you a lovely day. Thank you. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.